Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I do want to just quickly point out this is the third video I'm filming tonight. And it feels so good to be back filming, just so you know. Also, if my outfits look similar in these videos, it is because, like I just said, I'm filming three videos back to back. Um, with that being said, today's video is going to be a long overdue haul. I have not done a haul on my channel in a fat minute, and I've had this stuff sitting for accumulating for a few months, I'm not going to lie, a good couple of months. Some of the stuff I bought, I don't know, right before the new year or right at the new year. So, with that being said, if you guys are excited for this haul, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see me use any of these products um, in further videos or dedicated videos, let me know in the comment section down below. And let's go ahead and get started. So, I'm going to start, where do I want to start? I'm going to start with this. Also, a little PSA, grab a snack, grab a drink. This might be a long haul. I'm just going to throw it out there. Um, I got some stuff from Icing. So I just have some of their bamboo, or I have some of their bamboo brushes. I have the Kabuki brush. I have the buffer slash powder brush here. And then this is the Duo Foundation brush. So it has the brush part on one end and the sponge tip on the other. So those will be fun to try out. Uh, let's see. Okay, in here I have some stuff from Sephora. So I have the Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions palette. I hear these palettes are very hit and miss, but I also hear they're really good, so I picked up a couple that I thought I would really like. And so this is the Sapphire Obsessions one. It is absolutely gorgeous with blues and the pop of silver and the pop of green. I love blue so much because I have blue eyes. I really like the way blue shadow looks with my eyes, so I'm super excited to start playing with that. Plus I can get this stuff put up and make room for new stuff. <laughs> I have the Emerald Obsessions, which is the green one, and this is what it looks like here. It has a bunch of gorgeous different shades of green. It has this really pretty brown right here, a really gorgeous like yellowy green right there. It's just so pretty, and look at this shade right here. I don't think you guys can see as well on camera, but it is so pretty and unique in person. Oh, it's so pretty. But I'm super excited to start playing around with that and just mixing it. I also love green shades. I love green and blue together. Um, I got this. I mainly bought this just so that I could use the points that I had. It's the Anastasia just empty four pan eyeshadow quad because you can buy this for a dollar on Sephora so I just added it to my cart and bought it so that I could redeem the points that I had at the time and this is one of the things I got for my points oh, if I can get it out okay here it is this was a 250 point perk and it's just this gorgeous I was gonna say gorgeous I don't know what's about to come out of my mouth but no, it's just this gorgeous little uh, glass, little like key dish, but I thought it would be so pretty. I have another one up on the top of my vanity, but it's more of a long square one. And I use it just for holding trinkets and for display, and it says, but first beauty on the inside. So I just thought it was so pretty. I really wanted to get it just to add as another display piece for the top of my vanity. Um, a, another sample that I have is the Mark Anthony True Professional Strengthening Grow Long Anti-Breakage Mask Strengthens and Protects with Caffeine and Jensen. So it's a, it's a hair mask. I thought that would be really nice. I've been really into trying different stuff for my hair. Since it is severely color treated, I want to make sure that I'm doing nice stuff to keep it healthy like masks and oils and stuff like that. So this one says, our strengthening formula helps repair split ends and protect against future damage. Keratine smooths breakage by filling in damaged areas for strength and resiliency. So this will be nice to try out. I'll let you guys know if I like it or not. 
move my little tray. I have them in everything in little trays. So next I just got, this is random, it's just a little incense burner so that I can burn my incense nicely. I have a bunch of jewelry to show you guys. I just recently went on a jewelry like I'm blacked out or something I guess. So I have, this is from Icing, it is the Capricorn Zodiac Sign Necklace that so you can see better so that's what it looks like there and all three of me me and both of my sisters have these so I am super excited it is so pretty it has the uh, symbol on the back there I'm trying to get to focus which is actually a replica of the tattoo that I got which is just the symbol so yeah it has the symbol and then it has the stars star sign there and then the symbol which it doesn't want to focus on but that's fine I got this pack this is just from Walmart it's the no boundaries earring set look at that you guys is that not earring heaven it is so gorgeous it's got these really pretty frilly longer ones on the bottom it's got some pretty hearts some pretty bows it's got like the Eiffel Tower angel wings it has got a bunch of really gorgeous earrings that are just so pretty. So I'm super excited to start, ooh, that one is about to fall off. That's not good. It has just a bunch of super pretty earrings that I'm so excited to start wearing once I re-pierce my hole. My, yeah, my back hole, has anybody ever had this happen? My back hole like the back side of my hole completely closed up so the front side is still open but the back side is completely closed up because my holes don't line up properly I'm wondering if that's why or maybe I just don't wear earrings enough because this side is completely fine like I can put an earring in neither side is closed up but this one the back end is completely closed up like I have to go get it re-pierced I guess I don't really know what to do okay anyway little side note I have another necklace and my best friend actually helped me pick this necklace out. It's from the Time and True brand sold at Walmart. So this is what it looks like. It has this huge beautiful rose gold crystal and then it just has some little accent pieces. It has a little dove and just a bunch of cute little pieces. It has this little spot right here that's really gorgeous and this little ch uh, gem it's hard to show you guys I'm sorry but it's essentially a really gorgeous necklace and I think it's so pretty it's such a nice like statement piece and I love um, crystals and gems and stuff I'm really into that kind of stuff so my best friend helped me pick that out she also helped me pick out the earrings actually and the set of bracelets it's also from the no boundaries line at Walmart and it's super gorgeous it's just got like an Eiffel Tower one and again another kind of like beady one and just a simple one and then a heart at the bottom which is so pretty and it's all rose gold which is a color that I really love I love rose gold I think it looks so pretty and I think that these would just pair really well together to wear just all down the wrist and it'll look really nice with some of the other pieces I got <sighs> breathe when you talk <sighs> my glass is empty cool okay that's fine uh, moving back into the makeup category I have a little sample of the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm and the Agave Sugar Scrub, which one of my really good friends tried this one of the last time she came over to my house and she absolutely loved it. So I'm super excited to give it a try. My lips have been super dry and cracked because the weather where I live has been horrendous recently, so I'm super excited to give that a go. And then this, this is how old, you guys can know how long I've had this. This is my birthday gift from Ulta. My birthday's in January. So I've had this, some of the stuff since January. I need a trash bag. Oh well. But it is the perfect pair eyeshadow duo or set, I guess. It's from the Ulta Beauty um, collection. And so it's this gorgeous purple shade. And then it's also just a really nice light pinky transition shade, which is really gorgeous. But I don't do singles, so I might pass that along. I might just have to 
test them out. I'm not sure yet. God, I've already been filming for almost 11 minutes. Holy shit. Okay. So, moving on to some more samples. I got a sample of the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I don't hear a lot about this, so I don't know if it's very popular or if it's controversial or what, but that is what the packaging looks like. I'm definitely excited to try this out. I haven't tried a super ton of high-end mascaras, so every time I get like a sample of one, I'm definitely excited to try it out. It says it's 90% soft thicker lashes, 90% soft lifted lashes, extreme volume, puff puff brush, what? Hold on. Catches curls and coats a pure pigment Intense black formula for defined clump free lashes. Why is it called that? Is it because it's the Kush? I don't know. Anyway, super excited to try this out. Let me guys let, let me guys. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Next I got a sample of the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen. I actually had this before it's in the shade 01 which is black and I can't get it open um, no I have had this before actually and I did like it that is what it looks like well I will say it's a bit difficult to use or at least it was a bit difficult for me um, for a first time liquid like liquid eyeliner pen I do think it's a really good quality and it's a really gorgeous really like jet black eyeliner so I really do like that and I'm excited to have it again I have a sample of the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel just because I like to try a bunch of different stuff for my face I have a sample of the Versace Dylan blue perfume which looks like this and the reason I got this in case you guys don't know is I actually collect mini perfume bottles and that little other glass thing that I was telling you about that I got from Sephora is actually what I keep them in. I keep them displayed up on the top of my vanity up there. I have a bunch of them. That's why you see that I get a lot of like the little sample perfumes. Speaking of, I have another one. It's the Vers it's from Versace. I don't know which one it is. Let's see if I can get it open. There we go. Okay, so this is what the bottle looks like here. It's just a very pretty um, blue bottle. It's got, what is that, like a goat? Is that like a goat or something on the front? I don't know. It's Versace. It's super bougie. But it'll look really pretty on my display with the other ones. I have a few other Versace ones as well up there. And a lot of like really nice high-end brands. I just think it's a pretty display piece. So there's that. For palettes because I bought way too many palettes. I have the uh, BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette and I got this. Well, I've had my eye on this for a while. This is what it looks like, but my best friend's mom actually got her this for Christmas, so she's been using it a lot and showing me like pictures on Snapchat and stuff. And I was like, bitch, I need that palette. So this is what it looks like. Why did it just get so much darker? Okay, so this is what it looks like. It ha just has gorgeous arrays of really like nice pastel like greens and blues and yellows and you've got like your, dark or your darker blues and purples and you've got really nice pretty pinks and reds and it's just a gorgeous palette and my friend has, or my best friend has been doing some amazing looks with it so I'm super excited to start playing with it. And then I also, while I was getting that, went ahead and got the Take Me to Brazil Rio Edition. Um, so this one is basically just like the all glitter, like super shiny version. Like, let me show you. So this is what the packaging looks like, which is gorgeous. Anyway, so this is what the inside of this palette looks like, which I don't hear a lot of people talking about the Rio Edition. But it's basically just an all shimmer version of the regular Rio one. It is all shimmers. There is not one matte in here. The black might be matte, but I think it's all just like shimmers and glitters. And I think it'll pair really nicely with the original Take Me To Brazil palette. 
So I'm super excited to start playing with this one and kind of mixing and matching it with the other one. And they're both just gorgeous palettes. Let's see. Next, I got... I have been going back and forth on this palette. Let me just a little side note. For the longest time, you guys. And I finally bit the bullet and decided to get it. It is the Natasha Denona Lila, or is it Lila or Lila? I hear Lila and I hear Lila, so I'm going to go with Lila. The Lila palette, and it's so pretty, you guys. I'm sure you guys have seen this. Natasha Denona is, like, in everybody's videos. But just look at how gorgeous this palette is. It is so pretty. Now, obviously, this is... For a very specific eye look and for a very specific eye lover. It's a very purpley kind of mauve palette with some nice pops of, you know, like your orangey kind of brown in the one spot. But I am just super excited to try this out. I had very high hopes for it. It was very, very expensive. Tasha Denona is not cheap. So I do hope that it is everything I was hoping it was. So. Next, we have the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. I don't remember if I opened this or not. I'm pretty sure I did, though. So, I didn't. I didn't know. Um, so, this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen this. This is the newest or one of the newest palettes from Huda Beauty. It's absolutely gorgeous. The inside is stunning. Look at that, you guys. Oh, my God. Now, this is obviously another one of those very specific eye look kind of palettes. It's a very cool tone mauve palette. But it also has some really gorgeous, unique pops of shimmer. I don't know why my lighting is changing like that. I have, like, three lights on right now. But so this is what it looks like. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette, and I am super excited to start playing around with it. I have only heard a couple reviews online from a couple different people. I haven't heard a super ton about it. So if you guys have any thoughts or opinions on any of the palettes I'm mentioning, you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below. I also have a lot of palettes. I went, I did too much on palettes, I know. I also have the Sephora Pro Pigment Palette. This is the newest one to come out. This is the Editorial 2.0, and I actually do have the first edition edit Editorial Palette. I have, I think, all of the Sephora Pro palettes, or close to all of them. So this is what it looks like here. Stop rubbing on my camera. So you, oh, one of the shades popped out. Look. What the heck? Oh, it's gonna break. Ah, oh no. Okay. Man down, man down, man down. That's not a good sign. Okay, so I'm gonna very gently, carefully show you guys. This is the Sephora Pro Pigment Edit Top. Editorial 2.0 palette. You can see the cat who's annoying me because she won't stop rubbing on my camera. Go somewhere. This is what it looks like. It's very gorgeous palette. This shade Charm is the one that just fell out. I kind of repressed it back in there, which makes me a little nervous, but it's a really gorgeous palette and I definitely want to play around with it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and just um, put it up because I don't want it breaking anymore. We're almost done, I promise. Um, so I have, this was my birthday gift from Sephora. Again, my birthday was in January. It's the Drunk Elephant little set. It comes with the Peptini cream and the jelly cleanser, so that'll be nice to try. This was a 250 point perk from Sephora that I got. It's the acrylic stamp set. So I don't know why, I just thought this would be super cool. So this is the little, what the stamps are. There's like a lipstick and a mascara and uh, some eyelashes. It says like glow on, so much yes. And then obviously this is the uh, 
the stamp hole system right in there. I don't know, I just thought it looked really cool and unique, so I kind of just been used, uh, haven't used it yet, but I'm kind of just going to use it for like fun little random things. Let's see, another, this was a 500 point perk that I got, um, and I got it a while ago, so none of these samples might still be up, some of them might be, you just have to check and see. Um, this is the Tarte, what is this, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Glow Getter and Jetter Discovery Set. So, let's open this up and see what we got in here. So this is what it looks like. I remember the first time I got my first like 500 point perk from Sephora. I was so excited about it because it was the first 500 point perk that I had got, which means it was the first $500 that I have like spent and earned for Sephora. So nostalgic. But so there's a sample of the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation here. It looks like we have the tan sand. Medium honey, light medium honey, and light neutral. Light neutral is probably going to be the shade that is going to be closest to matching me. Maybe. We'll have to see. If not, it looks like they have uh, a shade range. Um, I'm not going to comment on their shade range, but they have a shade range. Um, so next we have the Mermaid Skin Hyaluronic h2o serum so that'll be fun to try and a lot of nice new skincare to try the rainforest of the sea four-in-one setting mist Ooh, a nice setting spray to try i'm almost out of my urban decay one so the tarte friction stick i don't really know what this is uh, exfoliating cleanser okay that'll be nice to try see more skincare and then last but not least the Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. So what is it, like a moisturizer? I'm going to assume it's probably like a moisturizer, which is fun. A lot of nice new skincare to try. Make sure I'm doing my skin nice and keeping it all hydrated and clean. Uh, two more things before the end of this haul. The Tartist, or the Tarte Tartist Pro Remix Palette. I actually have the Tarte Remix, or the Tarte Original Tartus Pro Palette. I absolutely love it. So when I seen the Tarte Pro Remix Palette coming out, I ran straight out and got it like as soon as it launched. I was so excited for it. So this is what it looks like here. It's super gorgeous. I feel like this one has a lot more variety in it. Like you've got your pop of yellow, you've got your pop of blue, your pop of green. You've got some nice silver shades. Now this doesn't have a lot of mattes, it looks like it has one, two, three mattes in it, which is fine, I can work with that. I don't prefer a lot of mattes on my eyes anyway, but I'm super excited to start playing with this palette. I feel like it'll be really fun, especially with summer coming up soon. So the last thing I'm going to show you guys is kind of a bit of a tease because I'm pretty sure it's out of stock right now and it's always out of stock. I've had it sitting here for a little bit. It is the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. Oh my god, you guys. I've been sitting on this palette for a cool minute, I'm not gonna lie. I was so hesitant on getting this palette. I was like, I'm gonna get a Jeffree Star palette because I really want to try a Jeffree Star palette. Um, and I was like, I don't know what I'm going to get. Or maybe I'm not going to get one. Or maybe I'll get the, you know, beauty killer one. And I was like, well, no, maybe I'll just wait. But I finally decided on the blood sugar palette. And, oh my god, you guys. This is freaking dope. It's like luggage. It's like a briefcase, which is so cool. I'm sure you guys have seen this. It's all over the internet. It's infamous. But can we just marvel? And how gorgeous this palette looks it is so dope i love that he has a signature star on all of the shades but one but the red one the red one that says prick is actually a needle which i think is ingenious of jeffrey and i think it's just such a gorgeous palette like oh this one is cool coma has like a little medical symbol on it i didn't even notice that but no, I feel like this is just such a gorgeous, beautiful palette that you could do a lot with. And I'm super excited to try it out and see 
What are you looking at? See if it is lives up to the hype because this palette is hyped. So, so freaking hyped on line, like on YouTube and on social media. So I'm super excited to get to try it out and see. And I think that about wraps it up from me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this massive haul of my video. I hope you enjoy the other videos that will be coming out. I filmed two other videos, um, so I will be sporadically bringing them out. Um, if you guys have any video ideas or suggestions or anything you want to see more in depth, let me know in the comment section down below. Ooh, no. Burp. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Bye.